Part five, word identification. Team, this section is all about getting you ready for the essay. And what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna go through uh, different things to look for when evaluating essay one on a student's oral reading fluency. So we're gonna be looking at what the student does, what strategies they use to help identify words, and what strategies they're lacking. And we're gonna give that a definition. We're gonna call these things word identification strategies. Now, there's a definition up above. It says basically this, a word identification strategy is any strategy or skill a student uses to help identify and pronounce a word correctly in a text or self-correct a miscue. It doesn't necessarily mean they're using it to comprehend what they're reading. It just means they're using it to identify, pronounce, or self-correct that miscue or that word in the text. So there's a whole bunch of strategies students use to identify words. Um, when you look over those assessments involving oral reading fluency, anytime you see there's a pause, and you'll see these oral, in a little bit we'll get to the first essay involving oral reading fluency, you'll see the student pauses a lot. Every time they pause, they're thinking about what is that word? That word doesn't come to them instantaneously. And they're doing one of these strategies. So these are the top five strategies that I've picked, the ones that I feel are gonna be the easiest ones to spot and write about if you're writing an essay where you have to identify a strength, an area of need on that first word identification essay. These are not the only ones. There's a lot of other things you can write about, but these are the ones that I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on with you, slow it down so you get them. But basically, you know, we have one, the ability to identify high frequency irregular sight words or not. Another one, which we've spent a lot of time on, is phonics, uh, that letter sound correspondence. Or, or another one is structural word analysis. The fourth one is, is involving syllables, being able to m break up a multi-syllable word into a syllable. A lot of times, uh, teachers get confused with you know, structural word analysis and syllabication. So here's the big, di th here's the big difference. They both involve multi-syllable words. But structural word analysis or morphemic analysis is when we're working with a multi-syllable word and we break it up into its morphemes. Think, think prefix, base, you know, root word, suffix. That's for structural word analysis or morphemic analysis. A syllabication is when we just have a multi-syllable word and the student breaks it into uh, decodable syllables. So we have a whole bunch of strategies for that. And then the final one is using the final most common strength in word identification or error in word identification is self-correcting in the use of context clues. And we're going to talk about semantic and syntactical context clues. So team, these are the five that I think you're going to be able to use to write your essays to identify those strengths in the student's uh, oral reading fluency. And these are the five that I think that you probably could spot, you know, gaps in their oral reading fluency. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look and let's look at number one, um, a student's high frequency irregular sight word vocabulary. 